There's been a lot of interest recently on the relationship between omega-3 and atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a heart condition where the uh, two upper chambers of the heart, the atria, are not beating in the proper rhythm to make the heart uh, pump blood the most effectively. Uh, and there were some studies that uh, were were done in people that are high risk for cardiovascular disease and they were given high doses of omega-3, four grams a day uh, for a few years. And, and in those studies, they surprisingly found out that the people who got the omega-3s were more likely to, to develop atrial fibrillation than the people who got placebo. Uh, now, it's not a huge difference. The people who had placebo, maybe 2% of them developed atrial fibrillation over, say, a six-year study. Uh, and the people who got omega-3, say 3%, so 1% more. Uh, so it's not a big deal uh, by any means, but it was a surprising finding, uh, particularly since years ago, we were actually doing studies to see if omega-3 would, would reverse and prevent atrial fibrillation based on studies that were available at the time. So it's been an area of, un of, of concern. Um, we did a large study looking at uh, over 50,000 people followed for 15 years uh, for <clears throat> development of atrial fibrillation. And we found that those who had the highest omega-3 levels, this is not from supplementation necessarily, or certainly not from taking high dose omega-3 drugs, but people who had the highest omega-3 levels pretty much from diet uh, had the lowest risk for atrial fibrillation. Uh, so we think that there is a sweet spot where something in the neighborhood of 1,000, 1,500 milligrams a day of omega-3 uh, is good for keeping your risk for AFib low, and that's an area we like to aim for.